Today I'll be headed offshore, I'm gonna do a split trip. I'll be targeting cod first, and then I'm gonna transition to Tatog, set anchor. Uh, this is a rocky area, there's a small wreck also on the site. I'm gonna try to, try to nestle in right, right on top of that wreck if I can. Uh, I brought my, I have the twin power today, I brought my spinning gear for bluefin. Sometimes you just, this time of year especially, you just never know. Something, something could pop up, so. drifted over. I'm on that little wreck right now. Just went over it. I saw him sitting there. A lot of green fuzz down there. It's a decent, that's a decent fish. He's fish now. Cotter now, 23 inches. There's no slot. 23 and 5 a person. Decent fish. Twenty-seven. I'm gonna bleed him out. I'm gonna go right over that. Go right over that same area again. I don't think he'll make that 23 mark. He whacked that though. He whacked that pretty good. On the teaser again, right on that wreck. I just did another drift. I got a sea bass before. Check him. 21. Feels big. I don't want to pump a lot. Am 
might have foul hooked something. It's a big cod. Hold him in the gill. About the same as the other one. Huh? 28, an inch bigger. Feel like lipstick on or something. Kind of funny. God. Twenty-four. Feels 
a little better. Another cod. Right on the edge of that wreck. The edge is right at about a mid ship, and I'm just kind of, kind of lopping it forward. Get a measure in. Twenty-two. I made a little bit of a move there. It started raining too. jogging back the rains picked up considerably and I got a little bit to go here stay tuned I'm gonna have some tatog fishing coming up hopefully some deep water trips got another few weeks here before I start whitetail hunting so 